Hi, this is Shadi and welcome back to another technical comparison. And today it's gonna be the comparison between two of the greatest in the minus 66 in the modern era of judo and possibly in this entire decade. You have Hifumi Abe and Joshiro Maruyama. Their rivalry is rather very interesting. Uh, they're both battling for a spot in the Olympic Games in Tokyo 2020 and also uh, their meets have been very interesting. In the IJF World Tour they are now at a tie of 2-2. Two and two. Uh, You have Abe who won in Tokyo 2017 with that Ochigari. So that was their first meet and then last year, a little over a year ago, Joshiro Maruyama went up against Hifumi Abe at the Osaka Grand Slam for the finals. It went to golden score and Maruyama surprised us all with this brilliant Tomoe Nage and they met again in the world championship at the semi-finals and Maruyama won again at golden score and Abe reversed the tables in Osaka Grand Slam of 2019 going to golden score once again and reversing his Uchimata and getting the Wazari and winning and it was the exact reverse situation of last year uh, last year was Abe coming as a world champion and losing in Osaka this year it's Maruyama coming as world champion and losing in Osaka so this rivalry is rather interesting and at the IJF World Tour all of the four matches were met in Japan so it's very interesting I don't think it's a coincidence but it's very interesting um, there's also the All Japan that was played 2019 that was won by Joshiro Maruyama so let's talk about their Sode Tsurikomi Goshi you see here uh, Hifumi Abe almost creates like a half circle and pulls his opponent to his back uh, and then uh, pushes the sleeves and rotates the hips in order to get it here it's almost like it's forced i've already talked about it um, in his judoka profile video and his sister uta abe he almost forces his sode and do like these very big spins in order to bring his opponent to him and use his hips and arms in order to get that throw so it is not 100 percent elegant um, it is forced but you know when you are battling at this uh, level you want to force that upon you do whatever it takes and it happens to be his tokuwaza so it is understandable that he's gonna uh, force it so for Mariyama it's not his tokuwaza I've already talked about it it's mainly Uchimata uh, but he does it far differently than Abe for example he doesn't uh, rotate his opponent in a half circle in order to get him on his back rather he spins himself and positions himself and then throws so you see against Anne Ball it was rather very effortless and here against Shmailov however Shmailov was badly positioned but still he got it it's uh, really like no strength almost 100% technique here you saw how his opponent fell effortlessly and continued it with the choke so Maruyama's sode is far more let's say Japanese I'm not saying the way Abe does it is wrong but uh, this is like someone using a samurai sword or the katana and you know swings with the wrist and you hear the sword going like <laughs> so that means he's using no power and the blade is running through the air and making that noise and you always also have someone who has like big like forearms and arms and uses the katana almost like a hammer and hammers it down uh, you don't hear the whoop and the the cut is gonna be very gore like however the the one with the swing of the wrist the, the cut is gonna be far more clean and far more precise so it is done with two different styles you have one who's using strength and technique and you have someone who's using positioning and technique so it's rather different than uh, each other but there's no right or wrong if you are technically doing it right and then adding some strength then I mean you can do whatever you want but if you are only relying on strength and 
you have zero technique uh, I don't think you will be able to pull it on anyone so strength and technique is of course better than you know strength alone and someone using only a technique is gonna be very efficient if he practiced on positioning and timing so uh, me personally I would prefer Mariyama's so that it's uh, seems like a lot less effort there's no spinning there's no big circles there's no extension of the leg to trip them and also hurl them over the hips so I would argue uh, Maruyama Sode is is better in my opinion so if you have another opinion please let me know down below uh, this was Shadi and thank you for listening